This short video will demonstrate how to build Tableau worksheets and dashboards with the Seek Workbench. To start, let's use Seek to call up the kilowatt power consumption for a two-stage air conditioning compressor. Seek's capsule logic can identify high and low modes of operation, shown as colored bars at the top of the display. Low mode represents when the compressor is using only one stage, and high mode is when both stages are engaged. These modes of operation depend heavily on the input temperature, which I will now add to the view. Before we jump to Tableau, notice that the input temperature has data errors. There are dropouts in the signal and gaps where no data exists. BI tools have a greater utility when these types of sensor errors are not present. So we will apply Seek's data cleansing routines to identify and repair the input temperature signal. Notice that the clean signal has not only eliminated the dropouts and gaps, but has also replaced the data with corrected signals from models and other sensors through a process that's not illustrated here. Now the data is ready to be referenced by OData and then be viewed and further manipulated in Tableau. I'll click on the report tool at the top of the display and choose the OData link that is provided. Further down on the page are directions on how to proceed, namely to start Tableau and connect to data using the OData link. That only takes a few seconds, so let's open Tableau. We'll paste in the link and hit OK, and we're set. Now that the data is available within the Tableau worksheet, I can proceed to create displays. As a start, I'll create the same view we saw in the Seek Workbench. I'll start by picking one of those two signals and I'll put time on the x-axis. Let's use lines to connect them. Grab the other signal. OK. I'll also use Tableau formula to grab the mode data that came from the Seek Workbench and use it to improve my Tableau display. Capsule data from the Seek Workbench show in Tableau as measures. Uh, where the time period where a capsule is true would show as a 1, so mode high equals 1 would be, let's say, high. And I'll do the same thing for low. And if it's neither, I'll just say that it's um, a transition period or off. So now I've teased apart the high and low mode, and I'll put them to work. Let's use a new worksheet and put the temperature on the screen. That should be done as a dimension, of course. We'll put power on the other. So we're doing an XY plot of one versus the other. And I can color them in according to the mode and use Tableau to select which modes I want to see. Finally, I can combine multiple Tableau views, any of which may include data from Seek or other data sources, to comprise a dashboard view of compressor performance.